Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video today. Today I'm gonna to be going over pets, assistance animals, and pet screening. So here at Maple Leaf Property Management, we use a company called PetScreening.com to screen all animals coming into a house, whether it's a pet or an assistance animal. So it's a fairly straightforward process. Uh, the resident is gonna to go to pet screening and create a profile for their pet. They're gonna fill out a questionnaire, upload a photo of the animal, and then also they're gonna upload any supporting uh, paperwork that they might have, such as vet records. Uh, from there, once the profile is complete, the pet is gonna get scored on a scale of one to five paws of riskiness, with one being the most risky and five being, of course, the least risky. It's also the same uh, process for assistance animals as well. So the um, owner is gonna go to petscreening.com and create a profile for their assistance animal. Um, and while they do that, they're gonna upload the documentation that shows the assistance animal status. From there, that pet pro or, sorry, that assistance animal profile gets sent over to pet screening's legal team who verifies the validity of the paperwork that's been provided. Uh, once they do that, they then send it back to us property managers uh, with either a recommended or not recommended status, meaning they were able to uh, uh, verify the validity of the paperwork or they weren't able to do that. So we love PetScreening.com uh, because it gives owners peace of mind about having animals and pets in the house. Um, and then on the resident side, it gives them one place to store all the information that they need about their pets. So, you know, type, age, vet documents, anything like that. And not only can those profiles be shared with us as property managers, but they can be shared with um, anyone that might need more information about the pet. So veterinarians, doggy daycares, anything like that. So the cost for pet screening, is gonna be $20 for the first animal, $15 for each pet after that. Um, and then of course, if you have an assistance animal, the cost is free to you. So the process for uh, creating these profiles is fairly straightforward. If you're a new resident, what you're gonna wanna do is first verify with the property manager that the uh, homeowner does allow pets in the house. Most of Maple Leaf Property Management's properties um, are pet friendly, but some of them do have restrictions. So you're gonna wanna first and foremost, make sure that you can have a pet in the house. From there, the property manager will direct you to our website where you can grab the pet screening link and make your pet profile. And then once the profile has been completed and it comes back to us, uh, they can log in, in our, log in on our end and uh, check it all out. So the same goes for an assistance animal. Um, the owner doesn't have to approve this, obviously, but you'll um, still wanna let the property manager know that you are coming in with an assistance animal so that they can get you that link and we have all the right paperwork for that. So as a resident who is already living in the house, if you'd like to add a pet, uh, Mid-tenancy, you're also going to want to check in with your property manager and make sure that the house does allow pets. Um, if it does, then the, again, the property manager, they're going to send you to our website to get that pet screening link so you can make your pet profile. And then upon approval, they're going to be sending you some additional uh, pet addendums to officially add the pet to the lease. The same also goes if you need to add an assistance animal mid-tenancy. Um, while the owner doesn't need to approve of of this change, we'll still need to uh, send you guys to pet screening to make that assistance animal profile. And then upon approval, again, we'll be sending you some assistance animal addendums to officially add them to the lease. So I hope this was helpful for everyone, residents and owners alike. If you guys have any questions about petscreening.com, please feel free to reach out to us. We're always happy to help. Thanks, bye.